All right, we are here live from Clearwater Academy International with uh, head football coach Jesse Chincher. Yep. Um, obviously, Jesse, we're down here. We just got through a fantastic interview with a fantastic young man, uh, Joe. First off, tell us, how did you find him and get him to, to come down here to join your football team? Yeah, so, uh, you know, we had known about a Joe, um, as we've known about a lot of Canadian athletes up in Canada. You know, we've had a lot of ca Canadians come down in the last couple of years. We had, uh, you know, a couple of kids sign D1 scholarships from Canada last year, and then we'll have some more in this class. And so we had, you know, kind of always heard the name of Joe, a Joe. Um, and a contact that I have up there who, you know, is responsible for basically helping kids come to the States, reached out to us about a Joe and asked us if we'd be interested in having a Joe here. And obviously, you know, we said yes. <laughs> um, so it kind of just came together naturally from there. Um, we had actually heard about him last year um, and was, was hoping that he was going to join us last year, which would have been amazing because we had a Canadian from Toronto who ended up signing with Pitt, and that would have been a pretty fun duo to play around with last year. Now, obviously, you go up there to get a number of prospects. What, right. what started that uh, going north to, to get some football talent? Well, you know, we've never actually been up there, per se. I've never been to Canada myself. We don't actually go up there. Um, but we're an international school. Our full name is Clearwater Academy International. Uh, we've had a lot of Italian students. Uh, it kind of started with that. Like, our old head coach before me was actually born and raised in Italy. Um, and, and so, you know, we do student visas. We do the whole process. Um, but what really started of it off was we had a student named Curvins who came down from Ottawa. Uh, he signed with Indiana, and he, you know, he really had no exposure up there. Um, and when he came down, he got probably I think four or five Division One offers in his first week, and that kind of really made a wave. And he was very well known in Canada, so word word traveled like wildfire, basically. And kind of the rest is history from there. All right, now you've got a Joe down here, and you're able to work with him every day in practice. You know first uh, impressions on him and what you've seen from him as you, you get to work with him day to day? Awesome impressions. Uh, you know, you see him and he's one of the most excited kids on the field. He's always, you know, his eyes always lit up. He's always got a big smile on his face. Um, he's very excited to be here, very appreciative. Um, and in terms of as a player, I think, you know, we were just talking the other day, we feel like a Joe, believe it or not, is probably the most improved player on the team from spring to now. Um, and not that he was bad before or not that any other people aren't improved. We have a lot of improvements. It's more of a testimony to the work that he's put in since being here. Um, you know, being up there, he wasn't maybe coached as much on some of the finer details. Mm -hmm. And he's really taken to the coaching and, and run with it. He's, he's been awesome for us to have. All right, obviously the word kind of spread quickly yeah. about him. And, you know, there was <laughs> yeah. kind of a firestorm on the recruiting trail. How do you help a young man like that deal with all that? I think just a lot of conversations, you know, um, talked about every step of the process, kind of let him know beforehand, hey, we think that this is probably what's going to happen for you. And he didn't believe us, of course. <laughs> He's like, no, that's not going to happen. If I come down, I'm not going to get offers, you know. And we're like, well, I think you're wrong, but I guess we'll find out if you show up. Um, but yeah, just a lot of conversations. You know, he's not experienced with, with the NCAA recruiting before a couple months ago. Didn't know the SEC from the Big Ten, from the ACC at all. Mm -hmm. um, so I think, yeah, just a lot of conversations and a lot of enlightenment on just, you know, what everything means. He's a smart kid, so it really just took pointing him in the right direction and letting him make the decisions for himself. He told us a little bit ago, first trip to Clemson, he knew right then he wanted to go to Clemson. <laughs> yeah. What did you hear from him after that visit? Yeah, I mean, he was so excited about it. We had a nine-hour drive back, and I think, you know, we talked about it the entire way back. He was he was so excited, and, and that really didn't burn out. You know, I think in recruiting, you want to make sure that that feeling stays with you, um, and even Clemson's very good about that. Coach Sweeney and Coach Scott were saying, hey, listen, we know you love it here, but – you know, do yourself justice. You're from another country. You haven't seen too many schools. Go see another school. Uh, you know, so we took a couple stops in state, and you know, he saw Georgia. He saw he took an OV to Nebraska, and he'd seen UCF and Florida. And after a while, he said, you know, when you when you know where home is, you don't really need to keep looking. So he he kind of knew that he was going to commit before he went up on that last visit. Obviously, you got to go up there with him. What, what's the relationship you've got now with Coach Scott and Dabo and, and the staff up there? Yeah, great relationship, you know, and I think that uh, they're a program that we've modeled a lot of our values around. And, you know, I've been kind of watching from afar for a while um, and just, you know, how they build the culture. And they're really about, like, the individual. That's something that we've always believed in and always tried to, to preach here. Um, so going up there and being able to see it in, in person was awesome. Um, and it kind of just, you know, kind of we clicked immediately with them and definitely feel very comfortable about sending, you know, a player there. 
Obviously, we know he's very talented mm -hmm. on the football field. Obviously, just seems like a great young man off yeah. the football field, always smiling. Tell us what he's like as a person, not a player. He's a great kid. Uh, what you see is what you get. You know, he's always smiling. He's always having a good time. Um, he's a talented kid. I, anything he does, he does well. You know, he's a musician. He plays the drums. He plays piano. He's an incredible dancer, as you may have seen on social media. Uh, um, he, he's just one of those kids where it's like if he picks something up, he's going to be good at it. And, uh, you know, even when he came here, he just clicked with everybody right away from the kids to the administration. He's been fun to be around. How do you think he'll grow this fall on the, on the field? A lot. You know, everything's going to be different for him, you know, even from just the, the rule changes. You know, the field's narrower. He's not going to be able to go in motion like he does mm -hmm. in Canada. Um, and I think the competition is tougher as well. So I think each game and even each practice for us has been, you know, a journey for him. So I think his, his growth has been, you know, bigger than some of the other guys. His ceiling is so high. So I think that we're just going to be able to help him kind of get a little bit closer to that ceiling before he heads off to Clemson. Last question for you, um, speaking of when he gets to Clemson, how do you project him? What do you think he'll be like once he gets there and any players he reminds you of? Yeah, I mean, when we went up to Clemson the first time, we uh, were able to hang out a little bit. You know, uh, Joe and I and, and Coach David were able to hang out with uh, Frank Ladson and, and Joseph mm -hmm. Ngata, and they look like triplets. Mm -hmm. You know, they're all the same physique, and, and Coach Scott was saying that, you know, that's the history of Clemson football and the receiver position. They play that nine-man position mm -hmm. uh, in the offense, and, and that's what they look like, um, and he's got that athleticism. I mean, even in the camp uh, that a Joe competed in, there was a moment where he went up and, you know, jumped up for the ball, and mm -hmm. you could see uh, T. Higgins and, and Justin mm -hmm. Ross look over and like, wow, did that just mm -hmm. happen, you know? So I think uh, the sky's the limit for him at Clemson, for sure. Great. Well, Coach, thanks very much for spending some time with us on the Clemson Insider talking about uh, one of your great prospects. Of course. Happy thanks. to be here. Appreciate it. Yep. Thanks.